recording live. Hoping Nelson don't find this video. She's gonna kill me. Who cares? What is up, you guys? Dreamy here, and I'm here with none other than Jordan Sad. Never go unnoticed, baby. I'm with you. I'm with it. Uh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Get it. I get it. Alright, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Jordan, so a lot of people want to know um, how did the whole drawing thing come about? Like, when did you become so passionate about drawing? Um, I was passionate since I was like, like seven. But growing up where I'm from, you don't get respect for drawing, so I stopped drawing to go play basketball, to fit in. Then, yeah, that went south. Broke my ankle, so. Rooms all I had, so that's <laughs> where so I'm at. Okay, that's cool. So, I mean, everybody has someone they look up to for inspiration. Like, I don't know, a lot of stylists look up to like Rachel Zoe, Kim Kardashian. You know, we have little Kim, no, I'm sorry, Nicki Minaj who looks up to little Kim. You know, so who do you look up to? Do you have anybody that you look up to, or are you just um, like think the, that you're the ish? Or, yeah. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> He really but doesn't, nah, he really doesn't. Nah. He's lying. He's lying. Um, I look up to like, like fashion wise, like their mindset. I like Kanye's mindset. He's very like creative. Ambition wise, I look up to Meek Mills. Okay. He makes me feel like drawing. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Well, I mean, everybody has like a ritual before they do something. Like me, like right before I start recording. <laughs> Are blabbering and stuttering, you know. Um, like actors, they do like muscle muscle massages. What, what is your thing? Dang, I'm being explaining my secrets. I, I mean, something that something that <laughs> helps you prepare for drawing. Um, helps me prepare for drawing. I have to listen to R and B while I'm drawing. Drake. Say it's yours. Nobody else is. And I have to eat a lot of pop tarts. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> That's interesting. That's the first one. So you guys, if you guys want to learn how to draw, you learn how to pop tarts, right? <laughs> All right, then. So, um, how did the Tims come into play? Like? I didn't even know it was cool for people to be doing. I just had a pair of old Tims and I was bored. I ain't, to be honest, I have no paper. I ran out of paper and I was just drawing. And yeah, it's so like, I have been. I guess. So I mean, I know you had such a great year. I mean, you had an awesome art show, which I was part of. <laughs> so all there, um, you had a lot of people supporting you, showing you love, um, the whole Timberland customizing thing. So what is up for this year? Like, well, what is going on? Um, this year, I'm not really giving people air to breathe. Like, I'm just planning on taking over oh. everything. <laughs> Being honest, everything. I see the Kanye and yeah. thing going on. Well, y'all, the artists out there, <laughs> y'all better be drawing right now as I'm recording. Oh my god. Taking over everything. <laughs> so, what, what, I mean, do you have any events? I, think I got a show coming. <laughs> that's the plug, that's the plug. <laughs> I got an art show coming February 27th. Yeah. It's like, it's a black history show okay. to educate people on African Americans like myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, you should come check it out. Yeah, definitely. You guys can definitely come. It's going to be held it's at free, the Art Institute. It's free, so don't even panic. It's free. Yeah, that too. <laughs> it's going to be held at the Art Institute. It's free admission and it's also sponsored by... Um, by Fly and Hot 97. Tell me a little bit about Fly. Like, when did you start collaborating with? Um, it's like my first big deal. It stands for First Love Yourself. Okay. My man is cool. me. My man Evan. And we have another. We have another third party, but we can't really disclose this person yet. Okay. She's very famous. We can't disclose her yet. You'll see. If you come to the show, you'll see her. All right. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we got a lot to go to um First Love Yourself NYC dot com. Uh, first love yourself Instagram page go to my page
Alright, so now on to the fan question. <laughs> Jordan's dad, and not like your personal <laughs> name. What, what is what is it? Oh, Jordan's dad. I'm Jordan's, Jordan's. I'm Jordan's dad. That's my identity. People call me that in the streets. I know. It's it's too catchy. Yeah, Jordan's dad. I mean, people call that's me my name too. But that that is so long. <laughs> but you yeah. call somebody that's so long. We should get those tattoos. That's next. Are you like a tattoo artist? Speaking of that too, dude, what is it that you don't do? Seriously. Anything art is me. Do all that spray paint, paint, do nails, do my daughter's nails. I do it all. How cute. How do you feel about people trying to imitate your work? Or I know there's a few people out there who are trying to take cool. credit for your work. That, that makes me feel like my job is it's complete. Right. Like if my work got all the way to people in fucking Alabama, Arizona, wherever, they right. saying they did it, that makes me feel good. Somebody wants to be me out there. Right? Growing up, I wanted to be like Michael Jordan. Now, everybody want to be like D. <laughs> it's cool. it a good experience. Good I'm seeing the Kanye. I feel like I'm interviewing Kanye right now. Guys, yeah. he's not really no the cameras, target. No So one question that was really like fluttering my inbox was uh, your status. Are you single? No. Yeah, so that's what the fans want to know. That's going to cause you so much problems. No, I love controversy. Hey. Oh, controversy. This is my job right here. This is my nine to five. I'm supposed to put on it. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Are you single? Are you married? Because we know you have a daughter. She's beautiful. But what, what's what's going on, man? Even um, I don't know this, guys. I and mean, we're pretty close, but um, I'm not too sure about those things ever. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not with my that wasn't mother. So convincing. I'm not with Jordan's mother. Shouts out to Jordan's mother. Hey. But yeah, I'm not with your mother. I'm spoken for. Ooh, all right, ladies, you guys already know. And also, you have Society for the Gifted, right? Yeah, that's so tell me a little bit about <laughs> that because I really love that one. Really, Society I'm so for mad the Gifted. I have it on my T-shirt, but it's okay. They selling out. It's, it's coming. But out. Society for the Gifted, that's like that's me. Just Silk, Abe, Tony. It's just like the kids we grew up with, and we decided to turn ourselves into a brand. Like, let's nice. make let's make money with ourselves. Why not? So yeah, that's coming along good. And what, what the quote? What does it stand for? Like, what does it mean to you? Is Happy. It your quote or it's, is it's it's if you wanna be down with the group, those are the rules. You gotta be happy. Humble, humble and, gifted. and gifted. I don't really follow the humble part. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I mean, we can you know stop. Me, but the rest, that's me. But. He's lying, guys. He's the coolest. Stop. Stop. This is not Everybody's gonna think you're an asshole. I'm not an asshole. I'm just like my number one fan. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you don't support yourself, then who else? You know what I mean? Hey, I five. First, love yourself. First, love yourself. Hey. First, love yourself. <laughs> <laughs> just say. Well, any advice for anybody that you know wants to like. You know, um, start their own business, start their own, like, start exposing what they're doing. Don't let, like, you know, a lot of don't listen to nobody. Like, don't listen to nobody. Right. Like, you don't go into a fight thinking you're gonna lose, but then you're really gonna lose. Like, just right. put you number one, like, stay confident no matter what. I think I'm, I'm better than Kanye designing. I'll tell him to his face, I'm better than Kanye. <laughs> I may not be, but in my head I am, and that's all that. I keep it pushing. Okay. <laughs> I believe that. I believe that. I believe that. I mean, I just feel like your work always gives people something to talk about. And I feel like something that makes an artist good is, you know, something that keeps you stuck. And every time everybody goes through your pictures or is looking at don't. your Tims, they're like stuck there. You yeah, know, and that's like, really important. Another thing for artists, like, don't get stuck in, like, fitting in. Like, stand out. Like, do something that's going to be talked about, bad or good. Like, Moses right. talked about, that's all that matters. Is there anything else you want to add or let anybody know? You know? Um, since I'm on the show, we should do something special, right? We're going to oh, switch positions. I'm scared. I'm going to be the host and you're going to be me. No! Alright, this is... This is the Jordan's dad show. Alright, so it's you can check it out. But anyway, my host today is none other than Confessions of a Stab. So, question number one. 
Um, you're into like you went to an art school, right? Yeah. Cool stuff. So you're into fashion or whatever. So fashion wise, like who do you look up to? Like huh. That's a good question. You're good at this. Yeah. You're pretty good at this. I'm taking over everything. <laughs> this is my year. Not my shit. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> Um, everybody knows I love Kim Kardashian, right? And I always got like Kanye? looked down Kim? for Hey, Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> I always got looked down at because, you know, I admire her so much. But it's just, you know, her sense of style is always on point. And I feel like she's very organized. I feel like she's always she looks very sharp and very sexy. So I look up to people like that. Like people that look powerful and can still I say, keep it together. I would say easy to her. Yeah. Right? Shout out to Yeezy. Okay. Um. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Wait, let me finish. Oh, go, go God, ahead. It's not like, my show. <laughs> <laughs> I also like um, Rachel Zoe. She's a good stylist. Mm -hmm. And um, Kim Kardashian stylist. Um, Monica Rose. She's pretty good too. So. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. What's that Instagram? I don't uh, find that. Okay. But anyways. Come back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um. What would you say to your biggest fan? Oh my god. That they were sitting right in front of you right now. <laughs> would and they were just starstruck like oh, 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 and they had nothing to say. But what would you say to them? Um, first of all, I'll give them a hug. I'm a very handsy person, very affectionate. Like, you know? She's lying. Not, I know my whole life. Got two whatever. hugs. But go ahead. <laughs> That's because you're too tall, man. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'll give them a big hug. I'll always, you know, thank them for supporting me and, and for always keeping up with everything that I do. You know, I would advise them that there's nothing that they really can't do, you know. And um, yeah, I'm no I don't think I'm no one to look up to like that. I'm equal to everybody else. I'm just someone who's trying to stand up with her own dreams. So yeah. That's a good way of putting it. I never looked yeah. at it that way. That's yeah, good it's good. a stay fabulous, always. Oh. You know, F the haters. A B A D always bowling, always drawing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you had to put it in there. <laughs> That was a good question. Oh my god. What would you say to your biggest fan? Um, what would I say to my biggest fan? Mm -hmm. A B A D. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, chase your dreams. Alright. Okay. <laughs> that was good. That was it? Yeah, I guess. Alright, thank you guys. <laughs> Somebody just flipped a script on me, but this is what best friends do, guys. We just Word. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, it has been great. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day because I know you're busy, extremely busy. Make sure that you guys go to his upcoming show, February 27, Art for the Soul Part 2, right here in the Art Institute of NYC, right off of Canal Street. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you soon.